Hi love, welcome back. In today's class, we are making this beautiful granny stitch men shirt. If you are new to the channel, my name is Miss Ai and you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you my love, thank you darling, thank you sweetheart for always coming back. This top fit a size medium to large. Let's get right into class. For these tutorials, I'm going to be using a black and white yarn and a sear here. So I'm going to be doubling the strand because it's lightweight. And your tape measure, and I'm going to be using 4.5 mm hook and also your stitch markers. To begin with, you are going to make a slip knot, and this is how I make my slip knot. For size medium to large as I did, you are going to chain 40 plus 2. But if you are making for a size extra large XXL, then you are going to make 46, you are going to chain 46 plus 2. And if you are making for a size small, consider chaining 36. After your 42 chains or your desired chains, you are going to skip two and in the third stitch, you are going to make a double crochet. Skip two count as a double crochet. So you are going to keep making double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to chain 3 and turn your work. In the first stitch, you are going to place 2 double crochets in the same space. So this is 1, 2. Chain 3 counts as a double crochet. So in total, you should have 3 double crochets. You are going to yarn over, skip 3 double crochet at the previous row and make three double crochets in the next stitch after the three skip stitch and three you are going to skip three double crochets again one two and three and place three double crochets in the very next space Skip three double crochets again and place your three double crochets in the available space and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to place your last three double crochet inside the last stitch. And you should be having something like this now you are going to chain two and place three double crochets in the same space one two and three and we have built our first corner and this would be our only corner for the rest of the week now we are going to cut and join a black yarn so the first two rows for the white yarn you can call it a bonus row now we are going to start with the main work so this is how I'm going to be connecting my yarn my black yarn but you can also make a slip knot and connect your yarn now after connecting your yarn we are going to chain three turn your work and inside the chain two space you are going to make a corner so anywhere you see a chain two space now you're going to make 
three double crochets one two three chain two and three double crochets so that is a corner so now you are going to start making your three double crochets in each space one two and three in the next space you are going to make three double crochets and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row At the end of the row, you are going to place three double crochets in the last stitch. One, two, three. Now you are going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And inside the very first stitch, you are going to place your three double crochets. So we are building our granny stitches. Now in the next stitch, you are going to place three double crochets. And you are going to keep repeating this until you get to your corner. So place three double crochet in each stitch. And when you get to the corner, you are going to place three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So keep working this until you get to the corner of the row. So at the corner you are going to place three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all in the same stitch now inside our last chain three space we are going to place three double crochets one two and three Row three, we are going to chain. So this is how your work should be looking like. Row three of the black, we are going to chain three, turn our work. In the very first stitch, we are going to place three double crochets. And we come to the corner. And we place three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, all in the same stitch. Now you are going to place three double crochets in each stitch. So this is the corner and that's black row 3. So you're going to place 3 double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row. And now if your chest size is 20 to 22 or a size small, you're going to be making only 4, 4, so 4 rows of each. So the black, now we are going to be making 5 rows of the black. But if your chest size again you are making for a size small, consider alternating four rows each instead of five. Now this is row three, and we are going to be making five rows because we are making for a size large. Row four, you are going to chain three, turn your work. In the first stitch, you are going to place your three double crochets. One, two, three. Now keep placing three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the corner. And at the corner. So I'm at the corner. So you are going to place three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all inside the same stitch and 
now you are going to place three double crochets in the last two stitches and that's the end of row four now row five you are going to chain three turn your work in the very first stitch you are going to place your three double crochet cluster so three double crochet in the same stitch and three double crochet in the next again if you're making for a size small or chest size 20 to 22 please make four rows of the black and switch to your white again and make four rows but if you're making for a size large that is where you would have to make five rows so i'm making for a size large so i'll go ahead and complete my row but if you're making for a size me small again please wait for us at after your four rows whilst we complete our five rows and meet you so at the end of the row five now we are going to switch to our white yarn so if you're making for a size small then you switch again to your white yarn so i'm going to connect and just as we did for the black we are going to continue the same exact pattern but we are going to make five rows of the white again the two whites at the beginning the two white rows at the beginning doesn't count so the actual pattern begins with our black row so now we go to attach your yarn chain three in the very first stitch you are going to make three double crochets now you are going to keep making three double crochets and when you get to the corner space you make your corner and continue just as we did for the black row nothing is changing so we are building until we have our desired length for one panel so we are going to be working in four panels so this is the first one and what we are doing exactly you are going to work the same exact thing so after making this and i'm going to show you how many rows i did but you are going to make the same exact thing so you are going to watch from the beginning again and build your work until the length which i'm going to show to you i made five rows alternating between the black and white so one two three four and five so black white black white and black so in total we have 5 10 15 20 25 25 rows you are going to make the same exact thing now to the next panel just as we started for the very first panel you are going to chain 42 or you are going to make the number of chains you did for the other side and again mind you the first panel you are going to work two two more so you're going to work two of the first one and after your 42 you are going to skip two for the second panel you're going to skip two and make double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row At the end of the row so there's one double crochet in the last stitch already you are going to add two double crochets in the same stitch making it three so one and two you are going to chain two and in the same stitch you are going to place three double crochets so this is your first corner Now you are going to chain three and inside the chain two space you are going to make three double crochets one two three 
chain two and three double crochets in the same stitch one two and three and now you are going to skip the first three double crochets and in between you are going to work your three double crochets skip three double crochets and place three double crochets in between skip three double crochets place three double crochets in between and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to place your last three double crochet in the last stitch you are now going to cut and join your black yarn the difference between the first panel and the second is the placement of the corner the first one you place it at the bottom and at the top and then the second one is at the bottom so that's the only difference aside that everything else is the same the pattern hasn't changed it's only the placement of the corner so now chain three and in your first stitch you're going to place three double crochets and you're going to work until you get to the corner and you would make a corner so wherever you see three double crochet chain two three double crochet you're going to repeat the same exact thing so i'm at the corner so make three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all in the same stitch in the last stitch you're going to place three double crochets and that's the end of row one and now row two of the black you're going to chain three in the very first stitch you're going to place three double crochets and in the corner you're going to place three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all in the same stitch going to place three double crochets in each of the stitches until the end of the row and that's row two of your black and now you are going to be repeating the same exact pattern so if you did four four please make four four and if you did five five rows keep making five five rows and in total you would have 25 rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 25 rows and you're going to make two of this so you're going to make two of the first panel and two of the second panel in total you should have four separate panels two of the first and two of the second right the difference is the placement of the cluster or the corner that is the only difference so two should look the same and the other two should look the same now to measure my work this it measures 22 inches so this is the length of the work and it's by 12 so when we put all four together the chest would be 48 inches so we have 12 panel and when we divide we would get 24 inches for the chest so this is all four panels completed and now we are going to be assembling them and we are going to make one left panel and one right panel so one one each 
and you put them together and also with assembling then we are going to be sewing so make sure the wrong side is facing up and the right side is facing in so we can sew at the wrong side so this is what you should be having this is everything put together now we are going to be attaching our work the shoulder parts and then the back so the work would align properly you are going to place a stitch marker to um to mark where you want to be your front and your back you don't have to do this if you don't want to because the front and back looks the same anyways i just had to place a stitch marker um, to see where i preferably want it to be my the front of my work but it doesn't really matter so now we are going to be start attaching the back and you are going to attach the two panels together and you are going to chain two in the very first space you are going to make three double crochets and in the back space or in the back stitch you are going to make a single crochet make three double crochet in the first or the front panel and make a single crochet in the back panel make three double crochet in the next stitch of your front panel and make a single crochet in the back panel so this is how we are going to be joining our work together if you have a better or best way to join this please do and if you want to join it with single crochet or your dining needle that's okay you are so free to do so but i feel with this method it help align the parts so it would be it will not be obvious to see that there is a line drawn or is um, panels compiled. I feel this is the best way and it works for me. If it works for you, please follow this. And if it doesn't, just choose a method you are comfortable with. So I'm going to be joining three double crochets and a single crochet three double crochets and a single crochet until the end of the row at the end of the row i'm going to make my last single crochet and chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn so we've attached the back together And this is what the work should be looking like so this is the wrong side of the work so at the back side or the right side you see it's looking it's not obvious now we are going to be attaching our shoulder parts together So with attaching the shoulder part together, you can alternate between your black and white yarn on each of the rows. If you don't want um, the black yarn to show in the white, please you can alternate it. But if you don't mind, then you can use one yarn, either black or white, to join this part together. So after attaching it in the back panel, the very first space, you are going to place three double crochet. Just as we did for attaching the back, that's the same method we are going to be using for the shoulder. In the front panel, the opposite, you are going to make a single crochet. And at this point, if you know your strands will worry you, just cut all your strands or fasten them so it doesn't get the way in the way of your work so in the back panel place three double crochets in the front panel make a single crochet so with the shoulder we are going in each stitch we are alternating three double crochets in the back and then a single crochet in the front but we are working inside each row 
let me put it that way each row so three double crochets in the back panel and a single crochet in the front three double crochet in the back panel and a single crochet in the opposite and you are going to keep working this until the end of the row This is what your work should be looking like and you are going to keep working until the end of the row. At the end of the row, after your last three double crochet, you are going to make a single crochet or slip stitch. You are going to chain one or two, cut and fasten your yarn. You can turn your work to the other side. Or you can just join directly so this is what your work should be looking like so the other side is either you can turn it to the same position or you can just connect your work because of the one um, row when we joined we had an extra one row so we are going to omit that row and join our work now we are still going to be making three double crochet at the back and a single crochet in the opposite and we are going to work in each row alternating this until the end of the row just as we did for the other side So you are going to keep alternating until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you should be having something like this. We've joined the back, we've joined the shoulder. And now, we go ahead to join the sides and make our arm and collar. And we are done with our work. But before we join the sides of our work, you are going to measure... 8.5 inches if you're making for a size small consider measuring 8 inches i'm going to measure 8.5 and if you're making for a size extra extra large consider measuring 9 inches but again i'm counting my stitches um, to make sure it's equal so you can as well do that and make sure all the rows are aligning before you place your stitch marker. So that is my armhole and you are going to do the same exact thing for the other side of the row, the other side as well and create your armhole. Now we are going to be connecting the sides together. So make a slip knot and pull through both panels chain one and in the back panel the first row you are going to make three double crochets just as we did for the shoulder and the back today we are connecting it with the same exact method in the front the direct front you are going to make a single crochet make three double crochet at the back panel a single crochet in the front panel a single crochet in the front panel three double crochets in the back
a single crochet in the front three double crochet in the back a single crochet in the front and now I'm going to switch to my white yarn because it's the sides of the work and obviously I don't want it to show when everything is complete so I'm going to switch to my white yarn but again you're going to be working the same exact method three double crochet at the back a single crochet in the front when you get to your black you switch to your black you get to your white you switch it to your white and you're going to keep um, working this until you get to where the stitch marker is and we shall I shall meet you there I'm at the stitch marker space and you're going to take your stitch marker and you're going to make your last single crochet and chain three so now we are going to start working our arm so chain three so you are turning inside your work the very first stitch you are going to place three double crochets in the same stitch and you are going to repeat keep repeating or keep making three double crochets in between the stitches so go ahead and make three double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row or the beginning where you made three you made your first chain three if you have watched the video up until this time and you haven't subscribed to the channel my love my darling my baby please do this is the only way you can help support our videos and if you're a returning subscriber and you've made it up until this far please leave us a heart sign under the comment section it's so warming to always see them so you're going to go ahead and make three double crochets in each stitch So place your three double crochets and now you are going to place three double crochet no so we are going to place three double crochets so make three double crochets in between the stitches until the beginning point so at the beginning point you are going to slip stitch in the third stitch of your chain three space you're going to chain three again in the very first stitch you're going to place your three double crochets and you're going to keep making three double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch so this is four so the this is total this is four rows of the fights and now we are going to switch to our black so with the arm I'm going to be alternating and I'll be making four rows each 
so we've already made four rows of the white because the first two white count as two rows and we added to making it four so the black we are going to make four rows and we are going to be alternating it just as we did for the body of the work however the arms i'm going to only be making 16 rows and i'm going to be alternating between four four so we've already made our first four um of the white and you're going to make four black four white and then four black in total i'll have 16 rows but if you want your arms to be a bit longer you can consider making five five rows each so you are going to be following the same exact pattern and you are going to work your arms and i'll meet you when i'm done working with both of my arm because the same way you are doing for this side you're going to repeat the same exact uh, method for the other side of your arm as well so go ahead and work your two arms and then i'll meet you and we shall complete we shall make our collar and complete our top so now i've completed my arm and now to make the color you are going to measure nine inches and place your stitch markers now you are going to take off one stitch marker and connect your yarn you are going to chain three and chain three count as your first double crochet inside the same stitch you are going to place three double crochets in the next stitch you are going to place three double crochets and you are going to place three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the other side of your stitch marker your other stitch marker so go ahead and place three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the other stitch marker At the back this is what you should be having so at the back just make rows you will see the back is in rows so place three double crochets after each row or between each row so you see and make your three double crochets one and two and three and make your three double crochet in the nest that's in between your row one two and three now make your last three double crochets one two and three three now you are going to keep making three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the stitch marker space At the stitch marker space you are going to make your last three double crochet so take off your stitch marker make your three double crochets chain three so row two chain three 
and inside the first stitch you are going to place three double crochets one two and three in the next stitch you are going to place three double crochets so row two up until row eight is three double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row so with the color again i'm going to make four rows of white and four rows of black so at the end of the row in the last stitch place three double crochets chain three turn your work row three in the very first stitch you are going to place three double crochets and keep working three double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to place your last three double crochets in the last stitch you are going to chain three turn your work row four place row four of the collar and you're going to place three double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row At the end of the row you are going to switch to your black yarn and just as we did for the white yarn you are going to work four rows of three double crochets in each stitch until the end you are going to keep working this for four rows and i'll meet you when the color is done i'm done with my four rows of black so attach your yarn in the very first stitch you are going to place your three double crochets and you are going to keep working three double crochets in each stitch just as we did for the white yarn you are going to repeat the same exact process until you have your full color ready and the color is eight rows so four of white and the four of black so my color my color is ready sorry so you're going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn and this is what you should be having if you want the color uh, bigger than this you're going to make five five rows each if you want it the same um, as this then four is perfectly fine now I'm going to turn my work the right side so you see how it's looking like now we are going to work our last row so attach your yarn at the very inside the same stitch where you started the collar and you are going to chain three chain three count as a double crochet place two double crochets inside the same stitch and now keep working three double crochet in each stitch until so we are going to go around with the white yarn two times all around until we get to the other side of the color the bottom side of the color so make three double crochets in each stitch when you get to the cluster space make three double crochets chain two three double crochets so work all around your top so work all around your top all around until you get to the other side other side and i'll meet you there so i'm at the other side so you are going to place your last three double crochets in the very last stitch or the stitch where the collar ended so it's all sharing that same space now you are going to chain three for row two of working all around you are going to chain three inside the very first stitch you are going to place three double crochets and you are going to again work all around 
until you get to where you started from now you are going to place your last double crochet because at the other side it was uh, at the other side it was a double crochet chain three and chain three counts as a double crochet so place a double crochet and now we are going to be working the bodice you are not going to cut your work so we are going to work the bodice of our collar so place two two single crochet in the two rows of the white and now place in the middle before you get to the collar place a single crochet now each row of the collar you are going to place two single crochet at the border so each row of the collar place two single crochets now I'm going to switch my yarn to black and go around with single crochet all around and I'll meet you at the end of the row so attach your black yarn and make two single crochets in each row all to the other side of the collar At the other side of the collar you are going to end by making chain one cut and fasten your yarn and now this is what the, your work should be looking like if you are okay with the length that's perfectly fine you don't have to do anything you are just going to go ahead cut all loose ends and place your bottom and you are done just place your bottom and you are done but if you want the length, if you want um, the length is not enough and you want to add more, which I'm going to, so you are going to attach your work at one corner or one side. So at a corner, just attach your work and chain three, chain three count as a double crochet. In the same stitch, you are going to add two more double crochets, making it three and place three double crochets in each stitch and you are going to work all around until the end of the row at the other corner so at the other corner you are going to chain row two you are going to chain three turn your work and in the very first stitch you are going to place three double crochets and you are going to keep making three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the other side of your work or the other end of your work and now we already have two white so making two we would have four white and you attach your black and make four rows of your black so with the length it really depends if you want the top to be more lengthy you can choose to make five of the white so we already had two so you add three whites making it five and then five of the black so i'm done making my four white and four black and this length is perfectly fine for me in total i have 26 to 27 inches for the length and is perfectly fine so you are going to go ahead and cut all loose ends and this is what the work is looking now until we meet next week my love is bye bye add buttons if you want to bye